I'm gonna start vlogging again. So this is a new vlog and I really want to get myself together again a little bit because I feel like I've been just falling out of, I don't know, doing productive things or taking care of myself really because I am focused on like other things in my life. Like we saw the tea eight days ago, so that's been something really exciting and then I'm also meeting someone and I don't know, then I'm just like focused on that kinda and like a lot of my own like self-care stuff is not so in the importance range so much up so that I want to change that because I noticed that I haven't been doing yoga for example that regularly anymore or I don't journal that often anymore so in this video I'm gonna try to get back to all of that and I'm gonna take you along with the journey and I have to charge my phone I mean I have to charge the camera so a great start but we're gonna get there I am outside now and I I have my journal here, so I'm gonna journal a little bit. And then I also thought of meditating for like either two or five minutes. I want to start slow again because I haven't really meditated in a long time. And I once was really in the groove and I meditated like every day, but I see I, I just got out of the habit again and I want to kind of integrate that a little bit more because I really don't know how I'm feeling a lot of the times like I don't feel like things in my body really like I know that I have emotions and I know there are some things but like I just cannot access access them and I mean that's also like okay that I have struggles with that I just want to like try to meditate and see if that changes anything I stopped meditating because it was just like too understimulating for me because I'm autistic and sometimes um, I'm either like super overwhelmed or super understimulated and so it's like <laughs> Also, soon need to need a new notebook because yeah, but that feels so so nice to soon have it full. Like wow. <laughs> I just finished journaling and it was really really helpful but I've noticed that I do feel better when I do these things regularly and it's just sometimes annoying to have to actively take care of yourself I'm just done with yoga right now and it felt really good. I mean, it was also, it was challenging because sometimes I was like, I'm done breathing now, I just want to move and I don't know, I didn't have that much pace, patience because I'm not used to just sitting on the ground and breathing. I feel really, really good now, I feel fresh. Hello bear bear! How are you so cute? I have this raised garden bed or this raised bed, I don't know. I'm gonna call it raised garden bed. It looks like this here. I have to lay something here so that there are no like 
small animals or something. We have this here that I once bought for my plants. And we have our old pool here. And I'm gonna recycle that and cut it and put it in here. I feel like my voice got a little bit deeper, but I think that's also just my imagination. I don't know, but I feel really good today in this outfit that I'm wearing. here they look so good <laughs> and, and I'm just drying them off a little bit so they're all dry and then I'm gonna put them in here and then it goes in the fryer my phone swapped contacts and deleted some so I thought this girl who I hooked up with recently was my uncle I cut this Thing here so there's no mice or any other small animals going here so that's good here's the foil the pool thing and I put some holes in there oh I forgot this side okay I have to make this again <laughs> I don't want to do it anymore it's so warm put some sticks in there and then here we have some compost, compost and then there we have some soil plant the plants in here here we have a zucchini cucumber <laughs> pumpkin yeah a pumpkin and this is like cappuccino cosa i don't know and then two strawberries i feel like i'm slowly i mean integrating things that are good for me but also like i feel like some days i'm not really doing enough but i think that's also like like every day is different and every day i have a different energy level of what capacity i have to like take care of myself like in the psychoficial way because for me even like drinking my comfort drink like my comfort lemonade that is for me as well like self-care I bought some salad and I'm gonna plant it here. I never had it with these stripes, so that's new. And also, look at these tiny strawberries. Look at them. They are so cute. I just did yoga and it was really really nice because I haven't done yoga in a few days and I really really like it. I'm 12 days on team and I started to notice that my throat is a bit more sore. Today my my throat was more sore um, and I feel like I had to like do this <clears throat> you know a bit more often and I also noticed that here on my arm where I apply the tea gel I think there are more hair. And also yesterday in the evening, I mean, I was in general really anxious there, but then I also was like, maybe I don't want to take it anymore. Like, 
maybe the changes are too fast but i think that i was really just in the anxiety panic mode and not really in the like yeah actually that is like a thought that is really how i feel because it wasn't because then today in the morning i i still put it on you know and i also noticed while doing a plank i noticed that my arms Loki are stronger but I, I i have noticed that because i'm not in the daily yoga vibe anymore sadly um so i haven't noticed it that much and could also just me be my energy right now but like i feel like my energy like i have m more energy for stuff i mean like i i feel like i did so much stuff today i mean it's also really warm and everything and so like I just have the realization while I'm speaking, like, it actually could be the tea that makes me have more energy. I normally wouldn't have that much energy to, like, do all that stuff. Because I was like, I don't have any mood changes. Because a lot of people say, like, that they feel so much better going on tea or going on hormones and stuff. I'm like, I, I haven't noticed that that much, you know. But, like, I do have more energy if I now think about it like that. I feel like I'm kind of having like realizations. The last few days I kind of noticed that I, I don't know, that there are a lot of like hidden insecurities that I have. I would say that I usually am pretty, I don't know, accepting of myself and I understand why I am the way I am. But then there's like so much unconscious things and i feel like that my mind is further away than my body is like like i i think i am a really rational person and so i analyzed my trauma and analyzed things that really i don't know hurt me and everything like i i know them and i have like worked through them like my body still has a lot of memories of certain things and i feel them coming up a bit more recently which is i think a really good thing for me i mean they are always there and i just never really noticed that these aspects were still a thing for me i don't know there are a lot of things that i i don't know still need to maybe heal from like consciously i have just like my body has still memories from that and that I, I think I also have to tell myself that, I don't know, for example, when I get really insecure about myself and anyone can ever like me, I see the younger versions of me, the, I don't know, my inner teenager who was really hurt and who was alone a lot of the times and who and also felt really lonely and not desirable and everything. And like, just because I'm kind of out of that, doesn't mean that it completely like healed maybe it's because i'm turning 20 in literally a week which is just really weird like i'm just still a child you know i sometimes just really want to go back in time and just be a child again i don't want to think about life too much because then i'm just overthinking it and i'm like how am i even real like and then i just look at my hand i'm like what also like i wanted to have this week as like a self-care week and i know that you know, a year ago or two years ago i would have really judged myself for every time that i every day that i didn't do anything for my healing journey um but i think i also really have to be looking out there for myself and i'm like okay right now it's really warm so i'm in general not so energetic and i need to take care of these like acute things just don't have the energy for that and that is also okay i don't know to not like every day is like put like three hours into like my healing journey or something because like at the end of the day it's not just a youtube video of like yeah i don't know five day glow up it's like a whole journey and i know also like celebrating that and i don't know allowing yourself to also just rest and also to not always have to focus on that because then i think it's maybe even counterproductive yeah but it's been also really nice to just spend like two days with 
people that I'm also excited to have my me time again and to just I don't know get my life together even though my life is just going you know it's just a constant flow and everything and also like that for example I don't really read anymore right now in this moment like it's also like I allow myself that more relearning that I'm like it's actually okay to not read a book in a month you know it's like okay to not do that i mean i get that i also am really like ambitious or want to have goals and want to like do productive things but sometimes it's also like okay if i like don't feel like it that i don't force myself for something that in the moment i don't even want and like even the outcome like i don't really need you know drink your water when it's warm even more i i should tell myself that more <laughs> okay i'm gonna charge the batteries now and i'm gonna charge my own batteries <laughs>